Let me ask you a quick question. Which do you think is harder, becoming a successful YouTuber or being excellent at playing golf? Well, even if you're not interested in both, keep on watching because there are seven things that they have in common that you can apply whenever you're trying to master something new. There's only 1% of the golfers that have single digit handicap. Well, if you don't know what this means, it means that they are quite good, right? How about becoming a YouTuber? That's a different question. There are over 23 million YouTube channels out there, but there are only 0.4% that have over 100,000 subscribers. That's, that's such a small percent, right? I have started playing golf two years ago and started my YouTube channel one and a half years ago, but, but from my personal experience, I think both are extremely difficult. And especially the threshold, the 100,000 subscriber mark and the single digit handicap in golf, they're quite the same. But I don't think they're impossible either, so let's dive into the seven things they have in common which will unlock the secrets to mastering anything. First off, getting started is the most difficult part. When I was in my 20s, I never thought I would be playing golf because I thought it was so lame and unathletic and only for old people. And also, I didn't want to put my time and effort on working on my handicaps because I thought it was just a waste of time. But when I moved to Germany, and after not doing sports for over 15 years, my legs started to ache and that's when I knew I needed to do some exercise for my health. I wanted to start something new and I was lucky enough because my colleague in my company was playing golf and he teach me some basics and that's why I got started and if I was in Japan I wouldn't have played golf because it's so expensive there so you need luck starting a YouTube channel didn't require luck but it requires courage I mean publishing the videos going on camera and telling the world that you are a youtuber or what everything is quite embarrassing right so Everybody thinks you're really crazy. It's similar to golf because nobody's Tiger Woods from day one, right? But this is not really understood because everybody thinks that you could blow up on YouTube from day one, get a million views or whatever, but you simply need to practice, I mean, to get better. And you, everybody sucks in the beginning. So that's the first part because it's really hard to get started when you know you suck at the beginning and it's going to be a learning curve and you need to go step by step to be better. The second point that is common is that both are difficult games. They are really difficult. I played volleyball, basketball, soccer. I wasn't that good, but not so bad. But golf is a completely different type of sports. It seems simple to just hit a ball with the golf club. But the motions are quite complex and there's only a small room of error that is allowed for you to hit a decent shot. And once you try to tweak something in your swing to improve, the rest falls apart. I mean, it's so delicate. Every time you learn a new skill and you try to apply it, and then you think you really, really got it. And then you go out to the course and you try your best, but you learn you didn't get a single thing. And even though you know your swing is improving, your score isn't. It's like you get one step you try to move one step, but you go two steps backwards. It's, it's really a slow learning curve. Similar thing in YouTube. You put in the effort, you think you did an amazing job, you push, publish, and you get crickets. Nobody's watching. And there is no magic button to get a million views from day one. I think one of the difficult parts in YouTube is to find your value proposition and create a content that is adding value and connecting with the audience in a deeper level. But I'm trying to figure that out. The third common thing is the principles and strategies. This is obviously not just for golf and YouTube, but there's certain principles and strategies, the fundamentals you need to work on in the beginning stage to improve your game. In golf, it's something like having the right grips and posture and spine angle and the lag and the compression line and all these kind of detailed things. But in YouTube, it will mean to work on your thumbnails, titles, descriptions, tag, audio, video editing, hook, storytelling, etc. You don't need to reinvent the wheel to reach to a certain level, but you do need to add your own twist after mastering the fundamentals. The fourth common thing is that they are both competing with yourself. What do I mean by this? In golf, it's you and the golf club and the ball. You might be competing with someone else, but essentially the game is all within you. You don't have to dribble past the opponent and shoot the ball. There is no one to blame but you on the golf course. Of course, there are always difficult obstacles on the course like the wind, the sand, the rough, the lake. Just like life, there are hardly those days that you just knock off the ball without any trouble. 
You need to deal with any conditions that are in front of you by yourself. I think YouTube is the same. The algorithm might change. I mean, you can't drag down your competitor's channel by posting negative comments. The competition is always within you, how to improve your game. The fifth common thing is result matters. Let me explain. Of course, if you're playing golf for fun, that's okay. But for me, I personally want to improve my game because I'm putting the time and effort. And the only way to measure that is my score. Same thing in YouTube if you want to use it as an engine to grow a business. I think business is all about how many people you make happy with your product and service. My dream is to inspire people that are stuck in life and to be able to add value to them with whatever I've learned. So the more people I can reach, the more people I can impact. So that's what I think result really matters. The best part of YouTube is that it has the potential to turn your passion into a living. Whenever I say this, people say this is only for a decent amount of people. And I fully agree if you define a YouTuber as a person who only gets income by YouTube AdSense. That's really hard because the percentage is like trying to be a movie star or a singer. But I think YouTube is just like a platform to build your own brand, to build trust with your audience to a certain level, and then be able to guide them to your main business. And that might be to publish your own book or do a consultant business or whatever. The sixth common thing is consistency. Now everyone says this, but hear me out. There are over 23 million YouTube channels out there, but only 10% has over 10,000 subscribers. Same thing in golf. The people who have handicap of 30 are roughly 10% of the population. You might get discouraged, but what I'm trying to say is that the more difficult it is to reach that milestone, the majority of people will quit fast. And it's an advantage for those people who hang in the game with perseverance and passion. Not people who just do the same thing over and over again, but the people who try to analyze and improve their game and try to fix whatever is missing. Running the PDCA cycle and trying something new, constant. And when I mean consistency, it doesn't mean hustle or strong mentality. It's more whether you love the game or not, the process. But in any field, I think if you're consistent enough, you will win in the end. And that brings us to the last one. Those who believe in themselves will win. I think this is the most important element when trying something new. Moreover, I believe whether you achieve your goal, whatever goal you set in golf or YouTube is determined right from the beginning. Your mindset determines the result that you will get. If you think from the bottom of your heart that you can gain 100,000 subscribers, you will. If you think you can get a single digit handicap in golf, you will. What I mean by this is to not talk big or tell a lie. Everyone sucks in the beginning, but that doesn't mean you suck for the rest of your life. It means you can achieve what you want as long as you believe you can do it. I mean, believe in yourself no matter what other people say. No matter how awful you're doing and you're not getting the results. If you have that weird feeling that you can when you're doing terrible, you will win you will crush it one day. You're just learning the way to get there in your own pace, in your own way. You're going to be incredible, the best you can ever imagine. As long as you have this mindset, the belief in yourself, everything is already in your hands. It's just a matter of time when it really comes true. Crazy enough, my golf handicap is around 30 still. My YouTube channel is hardly getting views, but I have this weird feeling that I will get there one day. Everyone will think I'm out of my mind, but I just know I can get there. I hope this resonates with you. Whether it takes a few years, I'm just keep on going. Why? Because I think I'm able to marry my flaws and my greatness somehow inside me. And I know you can too. Of course, if this was something that I'm not interested in or love doing, I would quit in a second. I'm not a disciplined guy at all. But my question to you is, do you have dreams? Do you have wings on those dreams? If yes, let them fly. If you find the right place to put your passion into, if you have the right mindset and strategies, if you're truly authentic and know your strengths, you can fly. I don't care what the whole world says is that you're not qualified or you're not talented enough. If you believe you can, you will. Your thoughts create your reality, not the other way around. Is golf too difficult? Is being a successful YouTuber too difficult? If you believe so, that will become your reality. 
But if you believe you can, that will also become your reality. It has everything to do what you think in your head. Please take that big step forward and start working on something hard that one day you will be so proud of yourself. If you want to learn how to find your purpose in life, the next video to watch is this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.